Uh, Kevin Lehart with Crimson Trace. Uh, what we're showing here uh, is a new vertical foregrip uh, available in green. This is more of a shot debut for, for us, new product. So, big change here is we've had a, a visible red. The new one is the green, and the big advantage is just more visible in daylight. So, some of the obstacles, though, with the green, and we've, we've taken our time with building this, is uh, short battery life. So, with the green that we have right here, you get six hours activation time on this. And then temperature variation, I don't have the specs, but it's uh, definitely can go down to colder temperatures last last quite a bit longer. So, right. And just from an operator standpoint, what's the big differences you between the yeah. Definitely, just it's more visible in daylight, lighter conditions. So. Ray Bernie, I'm a police officer in Las Vegas. I've been a police officer here for uh, almost 33 years. I've been uh, affiliated with Crimson Trace in the training aspect and uh, an operator uh, for almost 14, 14, 15 years. Pretty much since the product came out, I've been carrying them on my duty guns, my training weapons, and my uh, my off-duty guns. It's not just one; there's several values to it. You have the the actual training aspect, where you can, when you're training officers. Uh, and operators, you can you can show them. You know, you can tell somebody you're jerking the trigger. You got too much finger in the trigger. But when they actually see the laser bouncing when they're jerking the trigger, squeezing it back, it actually they can. It's a visual aspect that they can actually relate to. You also have the uh, the the operator end of it where you you don't lose your peripheral vision. You know, if you're over 10, 12 yards, you know you're you're closing one eye. You're looking over. You know, you're trying, you're trying to get the eye picture. Laser, you have you can cover multiple suspects. You don't lose your peripheral vision of, of any other uh, anybody else coming into your view that you can't see when I close. Uh, shooting on the move, the aspect of you don't have to have the gun up in position. You can shoot from any position. The laser is still going to to be on target. Uh, it does not. The laser in, in no way does it does it preempt trigger control, uh, sight picks to, it's another tool in your bag to give you the opportunity to be a little bit better. You know, and it's, uh, it's the intimidation factor. I worked a, a pretty bad area of town for a long time, and I've pointed my gun at people in legitimate situations. What do you got to do, shoot? And then I, the laser came out. Crimson Trace came out with their system. I put it on my gun. I never had one guy. It's like, get that off. They're trying to wipe it off. They're trying to move. You know, and it's just... You know, you can you can point at somebody, you point a gun at somebody. That that laser just transcends. It's such a visual. Right. And with TV the way it is now, everybody knows what lasers are. Yeah, yeah. You know, they know you're not pointing your finger or a laser pointer at them. They're pointing a gun with a laser. They know what comes and back. it relates to exactly where that bullet's going to hit. What's the uh, what's the benefit of the, the green laser versus the red? The benefit of the green versus red is it's, it's daytime visible, much more visible during the day. Uh, we were here last night with sun out, and you can pick up the aiming point uh, a lot easier. And explain to me again what you were saying about how the the, the human eye picks up the difference between uh, the red and the, and the infrared. Sure, and the... green is just at the middle of the visible spectrum for humans. It's it's at, at 532 nanometers whereas red is 650 nanometers towards the infrared portion of the spectrum, which of course is invisible to humans. So it's the same milliwatts as a, as a red laser product from you know other companies in our industry, which is five milliwatts, so maximum le is legally allowed, but uh, just much more visible in the green. And the way you, you do that is with different colored lenses, is that right? Or no, nothing, to do, nothing or? to do with different colored lenses. It's, it's a completely different technology, which takes more size and a little more energy to power um, and so we've been able to make products that are pretty compact for uh, green, the green laser technology and, and, and pretty uh, reasonably priced as well. Most of our products at suggested retail is $299 and uh, we get four hours of battery life uh, or you know, laser life out of, out of a one CR2 battery. We sell those on the website for $295 and they're available. Um, so it's a real, it's a actually pretty pretty efficient given the energy source that we're using. 